So let's uh, first define what Alexa is. And Alexa is a type of device called a voice assistant. And the basic premise of voice assistants is pretty simple. You ask it a question, you give it a command verbally, and it will respond back to you. Uh, Alexa was unveiled to the world back in 2014. So she's been around for a while and there are well over hundred million Alexa enabled devices in use around the world. So let me differentiate between Alexa and Alexa enabled devices. Alexa is actually software is the best way to think about it. So Alexa is the software and uh, Alexa software runs in uh, Amazon's data center, wherever that might be, there's several of them. Uh, so you have to have a device to talk to Alexa. So, uh, so you have an Alexa enabled device that gets you to the Alexa software, which is running somewhere else. Uh, and there are other voice assistants that you may have used. If you're an Apple person, you have an iPhone, you probably know about Siri. Siri is a voice assistant and also Google Assistant is Google's version of uh, Alexa. They are very similar, a few differences among them, but uh, we'll be focusing on Alexa today. So in terms of the Alexa devices that I was just talking about, the uh, there are several different types of Alexa devices. And uh, I'm gonna go into the Amazon website and talk about them from there so you can kind of see them and give you some ideas about the Alexa devices. This is the uh, Echo Dot. Echo is the uh, Amazon owned uh, models. And the Echo Dot is the entry level model. So uh, this is the uh, entry point. It is the Echo Dot fourth generation. And it's actually on sale right now. Normally $49.99 is for $39.99. There were some uh, third generation one and here's one. So you can get it $10 cheaper, $29.99. These were called the hockey pucks because they're shaped like a hockey puck. So the first three generations look like this. Uh, fourth generation, they switch to a spherical shape. So the fourth gen looks like this. And there's a couple of variations. Uh, for 10 bucks more, you can get a clock on it. And for a good bit more, this one's not on sale, you can get a, uh, a, an Echo Dot with premium sound. I actually have one of these. Uh, I've got three of these. And the sound on this one is noticeably better. So I think it's worth the extra if you're using Alexa to listen to music a lot, which uh, we do. And speaking of music, if you really like good music, you can go for the Echo Studio version. This is a high fidelity speaker, a much better sound than the others, but it's twice the price. And there are also Alexa enabled devices made by manufacturers other than Amazon. This is a Bose speaker, which sounds better than this one, I would think. Uh, it also costs more, but this one uh, does the same thing. It is Alexa enabled. In fact, this one for $29 does the same thing and actually does some things that this one doesn't because the Echoes, since they're made by Amazon, uh, do have a, some features you don't have in the Alexa enabled device. But even with these two, there's nothing that this one does that this one doesn't do. It just sounds a lot better doing it. So that's the biggest difference among the models is how it sounds, not what features are enabled as long as you're within the Echo product line. Wade? Uh -huh. uh, yes. Um, uh, first of all, I just wanted to put a reminder out that if anyone is an Amazon Prime member, that Prime Day is coming up in July. So th they have fantastic sales on these kind of products. Yeah, great point, Stacey. I, did, I, I should have thought about that as well. And yeah, it, for Prime Day and around the holidays are great times to buy these. Uh, I got my uh, premium sound one for $60. I bought it during the Christmas sale time. And for Prime Day, it may even be cheaper. So you can probably get any of these for half price. So thanks for bringing that up, Stacey. Yes, and one other thing. I have the Echo Dot, and I believe that I, I can do a connector wire into uh, other speakers is to improve the sound. You can, uh, you can connect another speaker with a wire. You can also uh, connect via Bluetooth if it's a Bluetooth speaker. 
So, yep, you can uh, do that as well. Uh, we have a, a, a battery operated Bluetooth speaker. And so when we're sitting out on the porch, we use that and connect it via Bluetooth to the uh, Echo Dot that's sitting in the kitchen. But, yeah, that is a feature. Yeah. Um, so this is the smart speaker. This is the original version of uh, Alexa enabled devices. What they have now is called a, uh, e um, an Echo Show. And these are called smart displays. And what they are, and this one sort of looks like what they are, it's a smart speaker that also has a tablet Velcro to it. It's not really Velcroed, but it adds that visual component. Uh, so for example, uh, you could ask this one, Alexa, what's the weather? And she would give you the weather forecast verbally. If you ask this one, she'll also give it to you verbally, but she'll put it on the screen so you can see it as well. So it does add some extra dimensions. Uh, prices are sort of like the others. There's ser several variations that, uh, and here the number is the screen size. So this is a five inch screen. This is the entry point. When you go up to an eight inch screen, it gets more expensive, 15 inch more expensive. So uh, that's kind of how these work. And if you really like Alexa, they've got a whole line of Alexa on the go. So you can have Alexa with you wherever you are. This plugs into your car. So you can hear Alexa through your car speakers. These are earbuds you can use. These just blow me away. There's a lot of different eyeglasses. And there's actually speakers and microphones attached to the eyeglasses. So you can talk to Alexa, listen to Alexa uh, while you're walking down the street. Somebody might look at you very funny, but it works, et cetera. There's other things. There's watches, Alexa-enabled watches and headphones and lots of ways to have Alexa with you all the time if that's what you want to do. Questions Wait about the Alexa devices? Yes. I have a question. Um, I have I have a um, the one of the first generations the one that looks like a tower, it's like a long cylinder tower, mm -hmm. and uh, you just mentioned that I could pair it with I could pair it with is can I pair that with the speaker and have it outside? That's uh, older I think the first one. I, I think you probably can. Uh, I've got a, uh, a in fact the one that's in my office here is a second generation Echo Dot and it has uh, that ability. Uh, so that was, I think they called that the tower. I'm not sure what they called that one. They don't make that one anymore, uh, but it has better sound than the dot, but it probably does. Uh, you know, if there's a, a, a jack in the back where you can plug in a, a speaker cable, you can connect it physically. But if uh, if you have a Bluetooth enabled device, then uh, you can, it's very likely you connect it via Bluetooth as well. So how, how would I actually do it with the Bluetooth? And I have to have the speaker outside. Um, there's a couple of ways to do that. Uh, I can't really demo that uh, in uh, the class, but you can do it purely from the speaker, but you can also do it from the uh, Alexa app. And we're going to go into the Alexa app uh, later. Okay. What I can do is put a link in the email. It's probably the best thing to do with the, like step-by-step -step instructions on how to pair with another speaker. Thank you. So I will do that. So let me make a note to myself to put the, uh, how to do that 